Flip him in there. Hell, dang. Man, what a monster. Well, let's see if the inspector's been here. Well, I see a sheet. Let's see what it says. Type of inspection is for the footings. Let's see. What, he's got two sending or three, three sending four. And then let's see what we got here. We got okay, that's good. Two six twenty three. That's today's date. Yeah, it says approved. All right, we're good to go. So we're ready to pour some concrete. Man, yeah. Hey, good morning, guys. Thanks for watching One Body Fishing. Hey, we're out here today uh, at the land, and we have passed our footer inspection. So, man, that's awesome news. Um, it, it's so wonderful when when you pass an inspection it's it's almost it's an it's a type of an approval you know i don't i don't think um anyone wants to fail by nature i, I think we all want to um be approved in some means but um uh there there are good approvals and as far as who you're looking for approval through and you know god says not to not to be uh, looking for approval through man, because uh, that's insignificant. Um, but we should be looking through uh, his approval. Um, you know, I was reading in Jeremiah this morning, and uh, I think it was Jeremiah chapter four, and and man, Jeremiah is just, you know, he's prophesying to the people of Israel about how they need to turn back. Uh, that they've they've gotten off focus, <clears throat> and it's only when they turn back to the Lord that um, that that's the approval that they should be looking for. That's the man, you know, <laughs> you know that's the God that uh, we should be seeking. And um, and when we do that, it's not just um, it's not just for his benefit, but it's for ours because he's our heavenly father and he loves us so much and he only wants the very best for us. And he says that he chastens those that he loves. So when you're corrected um, from, from doing something that's wrong, just like God had, had told Jeremiah to go and, and tell his people, you know, to turn back to the Lord and you know, he was correcting them. And, um, but, you know, he, he wrote them a certificate of divorce because, you know, he said they acted like harlots. You know, they, they, had, they had polluted the marriage. And, but God still loved them so much that he wanted, wanted them to come back to him. And, you know, I think about that, you know, with just like this approval with this inspection. Um, man, you know, turn back to the Lord. It's never too late. Uh, you know, Satan wants you to believe that you're you're not good enough, that you you're disapproved of, um, you're insignificant, uh, you're less than. He he wants you to believe those lies, and 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 we shouldn't. And the only way that you can stop believing those lies is to have a relationship with Him and get unified with the local church. Um, I'm not talking about the physical church or the building. I'm talking about the people. You know, there's people out there that love you and they want to see you do well. They want to see you do good. They want to see you prosper. They want to see you grow in the Lord. And uh, so that's why he talks about, you know, joining together with the body of Christ um, because, you know, we're supposed to be edifying one another, building each other up. And, um, you know, I don't do that as much as I should. And, but man, I love talking about the Lord, especially when with like-minded people that, that love the Lord too. I, I love, I love talking about who he is and what he's done for me in my life. And, uh, man, I hope that encourages you today. Um, <clears throat> just like that approval <laughs> with this inspection, 
man, I'm pumped up. It's, it's good to be approved, but just know that you're approved uh, by God, that he loves you just the way you are, that he's created you for a plan and a purpose. And uh, so turn back to him today because he loves you. And uh, no matter how insignificant you think you may be or disapproved that you think you are, God still loves you and he still wants you back. Thanks for watching One Body Fishing. Until next time. <clears throat> well, Mr. Bell is through digging our footers. Looks like he's done an outstanding job. Pretty excited about that. You can see the different elevations here. Here's a step down. He's got everything pinned for the grade. So those stakes are gonna help him when he pours his concrete today as far as staying level. So those pins, they're all staked at different heights. Not different heights, but the same elevation, excuse me. That way he pours his concrete, he'll know that he's on the mark as far as being flush with the top of those stakes. And he's got these step downs for the different elevations. See, that's saving you guys money, saving me money as far as concrete. So when he does that step up or step down, you know, that that's compensating for the, the height and elevation. So he just saved me a whole course of concrete right there. So they guys should be coming to pour concrete today. Have the footers poured. We'll be ready for the for the mason. The concrete truck here. What hadn't he done? Pours the concrete, getting these footers done. That's what I'm talking about. Force concrete. Looking good. Looking good. Man, yeah. Horns and footers. Got these bulkheads poured. Man, they're whoppers. <clears throat> Getting these footers installed. There's Dan. Mr. Tony Kennedy. <clears throat> it's looking good. Got another load of concrete. Hopefully this is the last load. <laughs> and Nick's, Nick's hooking him up. Sure was nice of him. Nick's putting his, I don't know what those things are called. The shoots on, I guess. The driver don't even have to get out.
cool. Oh, he don't look too old. Look at you. All right, thank you, Nick. About done. I think he's empty. Got everything poured. So I gotta thank you, Lord, for the beautiful day. Man, it has rained and rained. Are you ready to go? Looks good.